Your smartphone is like a tiny computer running on Android. But have you ever wondered just how powerful that little device in your pocket really is? Most people use their phones for texting, browsing, or social media, but beneath the surface, there's a whole world of untapped potential waiting to be explored. Imagine if you could communicate directly with your phone's brain, the core system that makes everything work. Instead of just using apps, what if you could control your device at a much deeper level, giving it instructions just like a computer programmer? That's exactly what Termux allows you to do. Termux is a terminal emulator for Android, which means it gives you a command line window right on your phone. This is the same kind of interface that professional programmers and system administrators use on powerful computers and servers. And it's not just for hackers or tech wizards. Programmers, scientists, students, and everyday tech enthusiasts use Termix to write code, run complex calculations, automate tasks, and even experiment with new ideas, all from the palm of their hand. It's like carrying a mini computer lab wherever you go. With Termux, you can install hundreds of powerful software packages, tools for programming, networking, data analysis, and more. This transforms your phone into a pocket-sized development lab capable of tasks that once required a full desktop computer. Termix unlocks features and capabilities that regular apps simply can't offer. You can automate your phone, customize its behavior, and access advanced system functions. The possibilities are almost endless, limited only by your imagination and curiosity. But with great power comes great responsibility and risk. Like any powerful tool, Termux can be used for both good and bad purposes. It's a double-edged sword, offering incredible opportunities for learning and creation, but also opening doors to misuse. Many people use Termux to learn programming, build apps, or automate their daily tasks. It's a fantastic way to develop new skills and unlock your phone's full potential. Unfortunately, there are also those who use Termux for malicious purposes, hacking into devices, stealing data, or causing harm. These actions are illegal and can have serious consequences for both the hacker and their victims. Hackers exploit Termix's advanced features to gain unauthorized access to devices, install malware, or control systems remotely. This is not only dangerous, but it also puts your privacy and security at risk. In this video, we're going to explore how hackers misuse Termux, not to teach you how to hack, but to help you recognize the risks and defend yourself. Understanding how these attacks work is the first step to protecting your digital life. By learning about the tricks and techniques hackers use, you can build a strong shield for your digital world. Knowledge is your best defense against cyber threats. So, let's dive in together and start your journey to digital self-defense. Get ready to unlock the secrets of Termix and learn how to keep your smartphone and your personal information safe and secure. Why do hackers love Termux? It turns any Android phone into a portable hacking machine. Before Termux, hacking required a laptop. Now, all you need is a phone and internet. Termux gives access to powerful tools found on systems like Kali Linux, network scanners, exploit kits, and more. It interacts directly with your phone's hardware and network, making attacks easier and stealthier. Security software often overlooks Termux, mistaking it for a harmless app. Plus, there's a huge online community sharing scripts and tutorials, so even beginners can launch attacks. The result? Portability, power, and anonymity, all in your pocket. That's why Termix is a favorite for mobile hackers. Every hack, no matter how complex or simple, always begins with one crucial phase, reconnaissance. This is the process of gathering information and identifying a potential target. Before any real hacking takes place, the hacker must first decide who or what they want to attack, and then learn as much as possible about that target. Hackers often start by scanning public Wi-Fi networks, such as those found in busy cafes, libraries, or crowded airport lounges. These places are prime hunting grounds because so many people connect their devices without thinking twice about security. Hackers look for devices that are unprotected or have weak security settings, making them easy targets. With tools like Termux on their phones and powerful programs like Nmap on their computers, hackers can quickly scan the entire network. These tools allow them to list every device currently connected, revealing valuable details like IP addresses, device types, and most importantly, which ports are open and accessible. Think of open ports as unlocked windows or doors in your digital house. Each open port is a potential entry point that a hacker could use to slip inside your system without you even noticing. Sometimes, 
applications or services leave these ports open by accident or because of poor configuration. This creates unexpected security risks, as these open ports can be exploited if not properly secured or monitored. Hackers also check if the software running on these ports is outdated. Old software often contains known vulnerabilities, weaknesses that have already been discovered and published online. If you haven't updated your apps or operating system, you might be leaving the door wide open for attackers. But not all attacks rely on technical weaknesses. Social engineering is another powerful method hackers use. Instead of breaking in through a digital backdoor, they trick people into giving up access willingly. Hackers might send fake messages, emails, or even phone calls, pretending to be someone you trust. These messages often contain links or attachments designed to trick you into downloading malicious apps or entering your personal information. These malicious apps act like Trojan horses, appearing harmless on the surface, but secretly giving hackers control over your device, your data, and even your camera or microphone. Whether hackers use network scanning tools to find technical vulnerabilities or rely on deception and manipulation, their goal is always the same, to find a way in, gain access, and exploit weaknesses for their own gain. The best defense starts with awareness. By understanding these tactics, you can recognize the warning signs and take steps to protect yourself before an attack happens. Always be cautious with unexpected links, downloads, or requests for personal information. If something feels off, trust your instincts and double check before clicking or responding. Stay alert, stay informed, and make cybersecurity a habit. The more aware you are, the harder you become to target and the safer your digital life will be. Once a hacker finds a weakness, the next step is breaking in. They often create a malicious file, called a payload, using tools like Metasploit and Termux. This payload is disguised as a normal file or app, but secretly gives the hacker control if opened. Social engineering tricks victims into downloading and running these files. When the file is opened, it connects back to the hacker's Termux session, a reverse shell. This connection lets the hacker send commands directly to your phone, often without you noticing. Reverse shells are sneaky, bypassing most security systems. With this foothold, the hacker can control your device remotely. That's why it's crucial to be cautious with files and links from unknown sources. Hackers using Termux have a powerful toolkit. Nmap scans networks and finds open ports, essential for reconnaissance. Metasploit automates attacks exploiting known vulnerabilities with just a few commands. Spisher creates fake login pages to steal passwords through phishing. Tools like SQL Map test websites for database weaknesses, while Hydra cracks passwords. Many tools are written in Python, so hackers can customize or create new scripts easily. This flexibility makes Termux a hacker's Swiss Army knife. The variety and power of these tools are why Termux is so popular among cybercriminals. Let's see how a hacker might use Termux in action. Imagine Alex, a hacker, connects to public Wi-Fi at a coffee shop and opens Termux. Alex scans the network with Nmap, finds Sarah's phone, and spots an open port running outdated software. Using Metasploit, Alex loads an exploit for that vulnerability and sets up a reverse shell payload. With a single command, Alex launches the attack. Sarah's phone, seemingly normal, secretly connects back to Alex's Termux session. Alex now has remote access, able to control Sarah's phone from anywhere. The entire process takes just minutes and leaves the victim unaware. This example shows how quickly and quietly a hack can happen. Staying vigilant on public networks is essential. One careless moment can open the door to a hacker. Once inside, a hacker can do serious damage. They can browse your files, read messages, and steal photos or documents. With simple commands, they can activate your microphone or camera spying on you without your knowledge. Keyloggers record everything you type, including passwords. Hackers can use your phone to send spam or attack others, making you part of a botnet. To keep access, they often install a hidden backdoor, surviving even after a restart. Removing them usually requires a full factory reset, erasing everything. The consequences are severe and deeply invasive. That's why prevention is so important. Don't wait until it's too late to protect your device. Now, let's focus on defense. How to protect your phone from hackers. In today's digital world, our phones are more than just devices. They're our wallets, our diaries, and our connection to the world. That's why keeping them secure is absolutely essential. One of the biggest risks comes from public Wi-Fi. Avoid using it for sensitive tasks like banking or shopping online. 
If you must connect, always use a VPN to encrypt your traffic. A VPN creates a secure tunnel, making it much harder for hackers to intercept your data, even on unsecured networks. Another key step is to keep your phone's operating system and all your apps updated. Updates often include important security patches that fix vulnerabilities hackers are actively looking to exploit. Ignoring updates leaves your phone open to attacks. To make things easier, set your phone and apps to update automatically. This way, you'll always have the latest protections without having to think about it. Be extra cautious with unexpected links and attachments, even if they appear to come from friends or family. Hackers often use phishing messages to trick you into revealing personal information or installing malware. Only download apps from official app stores like Google Play or the Apple App Store. Unofficial sources can hide dangerous malware. Before installing, always check what permissions the app is asking for. Only download apps from official app stores like Google Play or the Apple App Store. Unofficial sources can hide dangerous malware. Before installing, always check what permissions the app is asking for. If an app requests access to things it doesn't need, like your contacts, camera, or location, that's a red flag. Don't be afraid to deny permissions or uninstall suspicious apps. Consider installing a reputable mobile security app. These apps can scan your phone for malware, block dangerous websites, and alert you to threats before they become a problem. Practicing good digital hygiene is just as important as washing your hands. Regularly review your security settings, use strong passwords, and avoid sharing sensitive information over text or email. Remember, most hacks succeed because of simple mistakes or carelessness. Don't ignore security warnings or let your guard down, even for a moment. Stay alert and pay attention to what's happening on your phone. If something feels off, trust your instincts and investigate. Your phone is valuable. Treat it like it is. Use a strong passcode, enable biometric security, and keep your device physically safe from theft or loss. Building your digital shield starts with you. By following these steps, you make your phone and your personal information much harder for hackers to reach. We've uncovered how Termix can be misused for hacking, but knowledge is your best defense. Hackers use tools and tricks, not magic. Understanding their methods helps you stay ahead. Protect yourself with simple habits. Use VPNs, keep software updated, and be wary of suspicious links and apps. Layered security makes hacking your phone much harder. Your digital world is worth defending. Stay curious, cautious, and informed. With the right habits, you can explore technology safely and confidently. The more you know, the safer you'll be.